The Story of Monetary Policy The federal government regularly borrows money. The government issues a special IOU called a bond to anyone that loans them money. The government has always paid back all of the money that it owes, and it always pays this money back on time, so many people are eager to loan the federal government money. People often buy and sell government bonds to and from each other before they mature. This is to say that they will buy someone's bond before the federal government has to pay back the balance. This is where the Federal Reserve comes in. The Federal Reserve is our nation's central bank. The Fed controls our money supply. The Federal Reserve wants to get people to spend money if we're in a recession or to bring down inflation if it's too high. To put money in the economy, which they want to do during a recession, they will buy bonds from people on the open market. This is also called open market purchases. Increasing the money supply in this way lowers interest rates, which means people borrow more from the bank and spend more. More spending means higher GDP and the recession coming to an early end. To fight inflation, the Fed will sell bonds to the public to decrease the money supply. This is also called open market sales. Less money in the economy makes the dollars that are left worth more, which stops prices from rising so fast. If the Federal Reserve is successful, the business cycle is less of a roller coaster of alternating high inflation and painful recessions and more of a smooth ride. The end. Thank you.